<laughs> yeah boy, what is up guys? Welcome to the Halloween special part 3. In this video, we're going to learn some scary but awesome magic tricks. But along with that, right now I'm with my cousin Phil. What's up? What's up, buddy? He's one of the greatest artists that I know and he just finished the biggest mural here in Ottawa, Gatineau. And also, my face is on it. Come on, that's pretty insane. This is me. This is me. Guys, if you think this is crazy, please give this video a like. And we should probably just insert a little b-roll or something. Yeah? Okay, insert B-roll right now. If you're ready to learn those crazy magic tricks, well, you know what to do. Like this video and let's do it. Alright guys, so for this new Halloween video, I really wanted to make it more easier for you to actually just do magic with everyday objects. Depending on how you present it, it can actually be scary or a bit unpleasant, but uh, it's still impressive for everyone. The equipment you need are pretty simple. You need a tennis ball or any kind of small ball. You need a small pumpkin, a real one or a fake one. You also need any kind of small rod. Uh, in this case, I use a drumstick, a used one. As you can see, it's pretty... Uh, Pretty rough on the edges here, eh? You also need a plastic cup, some fake spiders that you can buy at any dollar store, some scissors, also a candy box, a couple of them. In this case, I use some Smarties. You can also use M&M, but anything that can be small like that works great. Some double-sided tape. And with this, guys, you're pretty much ready to perform some crazy Halloween miracles. Magic tricks, crazy, scary, yeah. All right, so let's start with the first one, the floating pumpkin. You need the rod or the stick. Any stick will do fine, but make sure it's not super heavy. Same thing with the pumpkin. Make sure the pumpkin is not that heavy because you're gonna have a hard time uh, performing the actual effect. In this case, I actually found the perfect one. It's super small, super light, and it works great. Basically, you take the stick, you place it inside of the pumpkin. Okay. It's time for you guys to write all the jokes in the comments. And uh, you're basically ready to go, but it's pretty easy to mess up this trick. And the reason for that is that it's all in the angle. If I move this way, you can see the stick. If I move that way, you can also see the stick. So it's really important that you're in front of your spectator when you make the pumpkin levitate in the air like this, right? Also, here's a little suggestion for you. When you're going to perform this effect, hold it at the bottom or with both hands, just like that, right? And make sure your face doesn't do this. That's unimpressive, right? You have to react with the effect. It's way better, trust me. So you go like this and it floats and you take it back, all right? With both hands. And after you make the pumpkin float, just back up like this, all right? And make sure nobody sees the stick. Don't go like this, all right? This is gonna be awkward. And that's it, guys. This is the floating pumpkin. Pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Practice in front of a mirror and also a good tip that I can give you, try and maybe come up with different effect with it. Maybe it's not pumpkin. Maybe you can make other object float. Hmm? So use your imagination and have fun with it. It's Super awesome. All right, so this is the second trick of the video. Uh, it's called No Treats. It's a trick that I created like five minutes before I filmed this video. It's super awesome, a bit weird also. And um, this is the moment that you guys are going to do a bit of arts and craft. So this is the secret. I'm gonna show you how to build it afterwards. You have your little box here, all right? And inside you can see the Smarties. And when you close it, you flip it the other way around and you have the spiders, all right? But the cool thing is that when you reveal the spiders at the end, you can actually show the box empty. Only for you guys, here's a top-down view uh, to understand better what's going to happen and how to build the actual box. Here we go. 
All right, here's the little top-down view for you. Uh, and trust me, guys, this is way easier to build than you think, all right? So here we go. So the only thing you need is to open one of the boxes, just like that, and you need one of these side, all right? So this side or that side, all right? So you take your scissors, you cut it like this, remove the sides, take out the flaps, and you're basically ready to go. Now the second part, you need a full one, and you have to open it in a way that the box doesn't rip itself just like that, all right? Super clean. Now you can ditch the Smarties on the table. You can have one if you want. Mm-hmm, okay. See how magic is fun? You can actually eat chocolate while building stuff, okay? You do the exact same thing with the other side, just like that. Again, kids out there, please be careful. Now you're going to cut the flaps on the sides to make your life easier. So now you've removed the flaps on the sides. You only have the big one here. Now remember the piece that we cut at the beginning, this one here, you're going to fold it kind of a C shape and make sure it fits inside of the box like this. So what's going to happen is that you're going to have one side that is pretty much with all the colors and the other side you have kind of a white bottom. You can actually flash it at the end to show that there's nothing inside of the box, all right? Remove this from the box, take some double-sided tape and you're going to stick it right here and right here just like that. Now you're going to place this inside of the box just like this and squeeze both sides to make sure it sticks really good. This is the section that all the candy are going to be. So you're going to get another piece of double-sided tape, but a super, super small one, all right? And now you place the tape on this part of the flap, just like that. So when you're going to close it like this, it's going to stick, all right? And now you're going to show it around and it's not gonna come apart. That's the beauty of this effect. Now you take your fake spiders, you can take a lot of them, and just place it inside of the box on the white part, just like this. Now you close it like that. There's no tape, again, on this part. So make sure when you hold it, you hold it in a way that the box will not open at the bottom. And after that, my friend, you're ready to go. So the performance goes like this. You have the candies or the chocolate inside of the box, and it's like this, all right? And now you can open it, Drop the chocolate and make sure when you drop the candies in your hand that you tilt the box all the way, all right? So this is a convincer for the people that there's nothing else inside of the box, all right? Now you put it back and again, you can actually show that the chocolate is inside of the box. You close it and when you close it, it's going to stick, right? You shake it a bit, you turn it around, you switch hands, you snap and now you can open the box in a super fair and clean way. Now you drop the spiders inside of the spectator's hand and you shake a bit like this and you can actually flash real quick like that. See, I flash it. I don't do this look inside of the box because they're going to notice that there's a, a another compartment, all right? I just go like this, I drop it in the spectator's hand I turn it really fast, they see that there's nothing inside of the box. And now you've just made some chocolate turned into some spiders. So yeah, hopefully you enjoy this effect. And if you did, well, give this video a like. Hmm? All right, this next trick is actually one of my favorite here. I call it living dead. The reason this effect is so awesome is because you can actually stop your heartbeat anytime and your spectator will actually feel it. I'm telling you guys, this is crazy. For this explanation, I'm gonna use this tennis ball, but you can actually use any small object that's pretty much the same size and that can fit under your armpit right here, right? So this is the reason why I'm wearing this jacket. You need a jacket, all right? Or a hoodie, sweatshirt, anything that you can actually hide the ball under your armpit like this, all right? Sometimes what I do is that I take an elastic, I place it around the ball so it's gonna stay around my arm and under my armpit like this, but you don't really need the elastic. It's just a safety, basically. So now what's going to happen, ask someone to feel your pulse. They're going to feel it. And you ask them to tap on the table as well with the other fingers, all right? So the spectator has one hand on your wrist. They can feel it. And the other hand can tap like this on the table each time they feel a pulse or a heartbeat, right? And now the only thing you need to do, and for me that's awesome, is just squeeze the ball with your arm. I don't know why, but it stops your heartbeat right here. They can feel anything. You guys try it and let me know in the comment if it worked. And trust me, people will freak out. Your spectator will not believe that you're actually stopping your heart. A good tip that I can give you for this effect, you have to act a bit, right? Don't go like this. You feel it? Yeah, it's great, right? And now you don't, boom. 
act like you're really trying to stop your heartbeat, all right? And they will totally believe it. So that's a good tip for you guys. Act a bit and make it super believable. Also, any kind of small object that is solid will absolutely work. Hope you enjoyed this one. So here's another trick that requires a jacket. It's the neck crack or the neck break. Um, again, this is something I love doing. It's kind of a prank. It's also freaky. It's all about the sound. And if you act a bit as well, people will really believe that you're cracking your neck and it's awesome. The only thing you need is this, a plastic cup. Make sure it's a solid plastic cup. And again, you put it under your trusty armpit. A little tip at the end of this, don't smell your cup. All right, so you place the cup under your armpit and you're basically ready to go. And make sure no one sees you doing this because people will find you a bit weird that you're just taking the cup from the table, place it under your arm and just be like, all right, can I show you something really cool? Don't, don't do that, all right? So make sure you start already with the cup under your armpit and that's it. So what's going to happen now is that you take your head like this, the second you do the motion, you're going to squeeze the cup, all right? So it goes like this, just like that. And it's pretty believable as well, right? And if you guys want to learn another awesome and scary magic trick using this method, you can actually click right here. It's another video I did about Halloween magic tricks, and I'm sure you're going to enjoy it. All right, no more jacket. All right, so this next trick is called spirits, and it's actually one of my favorite thing to do ever. And the reason for that is that it uses only straws. The only thing you need besides straws is static electricity, and you have a lot of static in your hair. Well, I do. The method goes like this. You take any straw and you actually rub it in your hair for like 20 seconds. And make sure your spectators doesn't see this because it's gonna be a bit awkward. Now you put the straw on the bottle and you're ready to go. Just move your fingers like this, all right? And the static will attract the straw on your fingers. And make sure you don't touch the straw while you do this, all right? The effect is going to be way more awesome, all right? And it's that simple, but quick pro tips for you guys. Make sure, again, you act a bit, right? And guys, since it's Halloween, this needs to be a bit scary, a bit weird. So you can actually tell a little story of a ghost or spirits, and, you can, and you, you're trying to attract spirits by, by doing a spell or anything like that, right? Use your imagination. That's the most important part. And focus and go like this and take the straw, all right? Place it on a bottle and just move it like this. Move it around, all right? Around like that. Another tip that I can give you, the best way to perform this effect is actually use some uh, like McDonald's straws with the paper wrapper around it, all right? And the beauty of that is that you don't need to rub it in your hair. The only thing you have to do is rip the top part of the paper, just like that. And afterwards, squeeze the paper and remove the straw and you just put enough static electricity to perform this effect. So play around with it a bit, all right? Have fun, use your imagination, and let me know how it goes. So there you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. I had so much fun filming it and creating those Halloween and scary, weird magic tricks. And if you're still watching this video right now, well, here's a couple of pro tips for you. I know I didn't go in full details like I usually do with because all of these tricks requires a couple of things, actually. It requires for you to actually act a bit. It requires also that you have a lot of fun with that. But most importantly, use your imagination. Make it your own. You don't have to use a pumpkin. You don't have to use straws. You can use plastic knife. You don't have to use Smarties. You can use anything or spiders. Use your imagination. Practice, practice, practice in front of a mirror. Practice your pattern. And again, most importantly, have a lot of fun with this. So there you go. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it. And if you like magic, please consider to subscribe. My name is Alex Boyer, and I'll see you guys really, really soon. Peace.